Meow. Meow, meow. Thank you. Alrighty. That's what I wanted. Just to say hello. What? What is it you want, man? Yeah, I know exactly what you want. Just hit you. Chill your tits, mate. Hang on. <coughs> oh, yeah, yeah. The bacon grease. I know. It's absurd for me to try and do this with one hand. Hang on. There you go. Yeah, enjoy, mate. You want to go outside? Yeah? Alright. You have fun out there. Ooh. Just a second. Ugh. It's all over the place. Brush it later. All right. This bit. Yeah, from Jim Sterling. Where's the little bit of, uh, yeah. This bit. It's video games, but ultimately when you really stop and think about it, it's such a weird idea that video games have foisted upon us. That the video games themselves have storefronts that sell deceptively small little microtransactions with gambling hooks, that it's no wonder families end up in this situation. Nintendo didn't... Okay. Yeah, pointing out the gambling mechanics, these egregious, addictive, predatory things, yeah, good on you, good on you. But, Jim, when you just lash out, like you did in a previous video when you're talking about gambling mechanics and you showed bits from other games just uh, static images a picture of the in-game store where you can buy the in-game's uh, so-called premium currency that's used to get purchases for level locked items I can see where you're coming from on that one, but at the same time, stop throwing everyone under the bus, because you're not throwing the right people under the bus. Yeah, EA needs to be thrown under the bus and ran over. Yeah, the FIFA bullshit needs to be thrown under the bus. <coughs> hey, hate that one. Yeah, the, the mobile market needs to be thrown under the bus. 
the, the mobile gaming market. It, it's the fee to pay, the fee to wait. Yeah, that needs to be thrown under the bus. What EA did in Dead Space 3, that needs to be thrown under the bus. The bit where they uh, started their crude rudimentary introduction for loot boxes. Now, yeah, that need to be thrown under the bus. <coughs> Here's something you're missing, Jim. It's probably a game you actually enjoy playing. I've never seen any video where you cover it. Fortnite. Yeah, that needs to be thrown under the bus. All that V Buck situation. Because that little game from that little company started an even more egregious market trend that leaked into Fallout 76 and Anthem and is continuing to make shit even more egregious for everyone else. Man, you're fucking shedding all over me. Do you know that? I get it, Jim. Jim Sterling, I get it. You're so severely pissed off at the bullshit that it feels like something's gone and broken in your mind. And you're lashing out at everybody. Jim, I honestly think you need to take a vacation, a holiday. Take some time off. Step back from all this bullshit because I've, I've learned this myself. I've been through this whole scenario. When you engross or immerse yourself so deep in bullshit that shouldn't be happening really really bad stuff this little thing goes off in your head and eventually where the point you've gotten to that's all you see is the bullshit you need to step back from it all take a holiday mate you've been hammering at it <clears throat> and hammering at it and now EA's in front of uh, <coughs> government agencies or parliament or whatever the fuck they're in front of trying to explain away the bullshit. And the only thing that someone has to do is to point out the numerous YouTube videos of people such as yourself, Clean Prince Gaming, Young Yeah, Upper Echelon Games, just pointing out those videos to these people who are asking EA's uh, fucking bitch team of bitches yeah what the fuck's going on here yeah we've got we've got proof you wanna deny that you fucking idiot I mean it's good that you throw in more proof on top of it but now's the time where I think you need to take a break mate I can tell from the tone of your voice, you're just so pissed off with it all. You, you jaded. You fucking going numb mentally and emotionally over it all. And eventually you'll just be going through the motions. Going at everybody who has anything this remotely close to this.
Honestly, I, I'm, I'm telling you, you should take a break, man. You've put yourself under a massive deal of stress. I've noticed this within the last couple of months. You've gone full on into being super stressed out. Dude, why do you want to be up underneath my arm? Anyway, Jim. Yeah, I know where you're coming from. I've played games that are egregious. With their... Um, pay to win mechanics with um, <clears throat> I don't, even, I don't want to get into the, the whole loot box thing I've stayed away from those games for a reason after I went through one, that's all it took for me was just one game with fucking loot box mechanics in it and I was like no, fuck this I'm just not going to do it Then several years ago, I started paying attention to what EA was doing. When even when with Dead Space Three, they, they acquire uh, an IP, a company, and they destroy it. Comment. <clears throat> Hang on a tick. I've been watching EA do this bullshit for years. I'm glad that there's channels like yours, Jim, that call EA out on this bullshit that they're doing. And then, you know, fucking Bethesda tried that with, uh, what, Elder Scroll Blades, this fee to wait game, the pay to win mechanics. Yeah, I encountered pay-to-win mechanics um, <clears throat> You know what? It was in Dead Space 3 The first time I noted uh, the fucking egregious microtransactions with the uh, gambling mechanics in them where where's a, a chance of getting an item you wanted <clears throat> Please don't stick your tail in my nose again that is really uncomfortable. Then again, I noticed it in World of Tanks and the uh, Grind Frame. <clears throat> and then I watched for a year as I played Grind Frame and they just, they made it even grindier. Yeah, Warframe is a, a free-to-play, as they call it. But at this point, it's becoming a fee-to-pay. And it already is. I noted when uh, Warframe had that one commercial with two dudes painting a fence a year or two ago. That's when they started shoving their own heads up their own asses. That's when they got so full of their own hype and their own bullshit. I noted that, and I said, okay, yeah, Warframe's on its last leg now. As soon as I saw it, I knew the pattern, I knew what was happening, I knew it was, I knew it was gonna get worse. But I gave that game like I gave uh, the, the first Destiny game, a whole year. Probably more than that. Yeah, uh, over three or four hundred login days on on fucking grind frame. I saw a minimum of five updates that made it progressively grindier, while taking away what you acquired. It was per mission and per kill basis that it was. 
it was it was something innocuous that most people wouldn't notice like five bits of whatever resource here and there each update hey five updates of that and you've get, you've taken away 25 bits worth of something and when you're only starting off with about 50 to 50 to 60 bits worth of something that's like half that's a that's a maximum of half of your resource that you fucking go and farm for and grind for just stripped away from you chip by chip piece by piece when I went onto their fucking forums everyone's bullshit defense was they told us it was gonna happen so it's fine so I know where you're coming from Jim but dude you gotta take a break and let um, let EA struggle in the courts now shit everybody needs to take a break Go on holiday, Jim. You need one. Because the stress is fucking getting to you. I can see the pattern you're going through. You're going through the same pattern I've been through. It's where you're shoving your own head up your ass and you don't want to listen to anyone else telling you a goddamn single thing because you've seen all this bullshit and you think you know it all by now. If you keep going, you'll be lashing out at literally everybody, including myself, for saying this to you to take a break and step back from it all and just uh, recuperate your your mental stability here. You're, you're becoming unstable. <clears throat> There's nothing wrong with you pointing out the bullshit, the egregious gambling microtransactions, uh, the fact that it's preying on children using mommy and daddy's credit card, the the mobile industry's egregious in your face. Pay us now, and we'll we'll uh, know you know half of the timer so you can wait less. The fee to wait bullshit. It's good you're pointing all that out. But at the same time, you gotta take a break for yourself. Alright, I've rambled on long enough. Hopefully someone watches this all the way through and sends you a, a link to it. Anybody else listening? Go ahead and do that. And the more the merrier, I guess. Or the more likely he is to see it. Till next time, bye. <clears throat>